When you look around, you will realize there are many devices that use a laser. Things like remote controls, supermarket bar scanners, and CD players cannot function without lasers. Now, in the near future, we may see the development of better multi-purpose electronics. That's because Sandy Lengobo, a scientist from KwaZulu-Natal, has come up with the world's first digital laser. In the beginning of 2012, Sandy Lengobo's bosses asked him to join a group of scientists on a special project. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research employees had been trying to develop a digital laser for two years without much success. His supervisor must have seen that um, to give that type of person um, the project, the digital laser project, would actually be a smart thing to do because then he has the brains, you know, you need the right person for the right job. I had to start from scratch basically, figure out what's happening from the beginning on my own without uh, any influence so that you understand what's going on. Sandile had to dig deep. You must be able to program. You must be able to understand even the software that you use to program with it. So it's not just like knowing lasers. So you must know the laser physics part, the physics part of lasers. You must know the part of computers. You must also be kind of person who's able to put things together and get the laser to work properly. So there's a number, number of skills that you require. It's not like one skill. There's a number, number, a lot of skills that you require to know. Having acquired different skills working for the CSIR, Sandile had been well armed to take the challenge head on. After six months of long hours in the laboratory, he made a breakthrough. He came up with the world's first digital laser. It was quite a, a nice feeling when you give it to someone else, have a look and say, and then they say, oh yes, it does work. Sandile's invention enables lasers to change the shape of their light. This is regarded as a milestone in laser technology and could lead to further laser-related developments. For example, better home electronics may soon be produced cheaply. I've just come back from um, a visit in Japan and I showed a slide um, showing all the different beam types that are generated by the digital laser as they are being emitted by the device. And as soon as I put the slide up, everybody's face was like, they had this wow look on their faces. A simple young man from Peter Maritzburg in KwaZulu-Natal, Sandile always had love for electronics. He grew up a keen student with a natural understanding of electricity. My neighbor will market me all around, say, hey, Sandile can fix your stove, can fix your, your iron, can fit, fix that and that. So, so we start building also that you have certain skill, you start knowing and naturing it. After matriculating in 1998, he went on to study physics and chemistry at UKZN before embarking on a journey towards a PhD. Today, Sandile is a game changer whose work opens up new possibilities in technology. To me, I don't see that as that big thing. Um, I think uh, uh, there are certain people who have achieved quite a lot than what I've done. Fantastic. That's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.